that is here, that is for us, to save us, to save us, and to guide us. He's that truth. Uh, the way is not open, it's narrow. The, road, the door is not, it's narrow. But that's the true path, the true path. The truth is never easy to hear. The truth is never easy. And the truth can never be a smooth journey. While the, while the path in Yeshua might be hard, while the, even though the path may be narrow, it does not change the fact that is the true path. That is the one true path. While you're here in this world being satisfied in your sin, you'll be very happy, comfortable living in your sins. But at the end, it will send you to hell. You will condemn yourselves to hell. So go wake up, Chicago News. Hear the gospel and know your true God. Know your true God, the true God. That is Lord Yeshua and no one else. No one else. Not your Buddha, not your Shiva, not your Muhammad, Christ, no one else. Not the crystals, absolutely nothing and no one else. Not all the spirits you believe in. None of those are the way for you to get salvation. Other than Lord Yeshua. Yeshua is the only way. And now is the time. If you are afraid to believe in Yeshua because of this world, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because our God, Lord God, Lord Yeshua is higher and greater than those fears. If you're afraid of being abandoned, reject, do not be afraid of those rejection. Be more afraid of being rejected by Christ, by God at, in the end time. Do not be afraid of being rejected by this world and by your family, your parents. Do not be afraid of those rejection. Be afraid of the rejection of heaven at the end time when you are sitting, when you're standing before him. And God says, depart from me for I do not know you. Be afraid of that. Not be afraid of, do not be afraid of rejection of this world. Because even the Bible says, even the Bible said, you will be hated because they hated me first. That is what Yeshua said. You will be hated. You will be rejected. You will be sped on. You will, you will be harmed by this world. Why? Because they did the same to me. So, do not be afraid of all of that. Because Yeshua went through that. And Yeshua is here with you through that. So come to Christ. Believe in Christ. Believe in the Lord God. And He's the only one who will save you eternally. And what here in this world. In this world, you may be shackled. You may be burdened by your past. By your past. Or by, by the things that have hurt you. Like depression, anxiety. You may, you may be consumed and chained and shackled by all of that but there is someone who can set you free there is one truth that can set you free there is one messiah there is one god and that is lord yeshua that is lord yeshua true god the true true king of prince the true god that humbled himself and came down to this world so if the God of Daniel, if the God of Jacob, if the name that, that brought down the wall of Judah, the Lion of Judah, if that God was with them, He is also here with us. So do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of this world. Do not be comfortable living in this world. And do not be comfortable in your sins. God wake, loves you, sir. Wake up. Okay, I want you to wake up. Wake up, there sir. God no loves you. Jesus loves you, sir. God. God loves you so much that he died on the there cross for no you God. and I. There is there one no true God, God and that wake is Lord up. Jesus there Christ. No Jesus loves wake you, up. sir. Jesus loves you so much. And he wants to save you. And he wants to save me. You are... The world has deceived you, sir. The world has deceived many of us. And sometimes we, like him, many of us believe that there's no God. But oh, trust me, there is one God. And that God is Lord Yeshua. There is a true God. And that is Lord Yeshua. Why do you think the world hates Yeshua so much? Why does, why does 
Why do people get so angry? Why do they react so much every time we preach about Jesus? About Lord Yeshua? Why? Because they know. They know that there is one true God. There is one true living God. And that is Yeshua. That is why this world hates it so much. That is why this world hates it so much. When the name of Yeshua is mentioned. When the good news is mentioned. This world gets so angry. Because we're yes, preaching the yes, one true yes, God. Yes, that is why. That is why the world reacts so much. That is why Yeshua, Christianity, is the one, re one religion in this world that gets mocked so much. That gets openly mocked. You never hear about the Islam getting mocked. You never hear Hinduism getting mocked. You never hear, you hear Buddhism getting mocked. No, you never do. Oh, but you hear people telling you, mindfulness, do yoga, do yoga, clear your mind, give your mind a peace, and connect to the world, connect to the spirits. That's what you hear when it comes to other religion. But when you hear about Yeshua, so much hate, so much anger, so much prosecution. Why? Because the devil does not want you to know the one true God. The devil does not want you to know the truth. That is why this world gets so angry when you mention the name of Jesus Christ, when you mention the name of Yeshua. This world gets so angry. They get so angry. And that is why they stand up against Yeshua. Because they know one true God. They know the truth. And they cannot bear and they cannot stand the truth being preached. They cannot stand the truth being spoken. So every time the truth is spoken, the world will act up. The world will react. Let that be your. Tr that that be one of the proof to you that Yeshua is the only way, tr only way, and the life, and no one else. Let that be one of the proof. You go to the courthouse. You put your hand on a Bible. You put your hand on a Bible and you swear to tell nothing but the truth. Why? Why? Because. Even if people might not openly say it, they know that Yeshua is the only true God. We still AD, BC, whenever we talk about they in this world. Why? Because for ages they have known Christ. It's so now we want to deny it. So wake up now, Chicago. Wake up and do not fall into this deception. Do not fall into this deception of this world. The lies that people tell you. The lies that the devil will try to tell you. So many times, when life, start, when life starts getting hard, when you start falling into depression or anxiety, living a life becomes difficult. Like you. Your thoughts, people will tell you so many things, so many other different things other than come to Christ, other than go to Christ, lay burdens on Him. They will tell you so many things other than tell you oh go to bed go to mindfulness they will tell you all of that and I'm not saying going to the gym is bad it's not it's good going you should go to the gym but do not practice yoga because that's that's witchcraft in disguise so when no one will tell you go to Christ when you're going to trouble they will tell you to go to this world, go drink, go smoke weed. Life is short, enjoy yourself. But because life is short, because life can pa pass in a blink of an eye, believe and come to Yeshua. Yeshua said, oh, all you weary and burdened, come to me and I will give you rest. Oh, all you broken hearted, come to me and I will fix your heart. Oh, all of you who are lonely, I will be with you. Oh, all of you who are rejected, I will accept you. That is what Yeshua says. That is what Yeshua came to tell you. That is the love that Yeshua came to show to you. So wake up, Chicago. Wake up, Chicago, and Christ. Because Jesus loves you so much. He loves you so much. He does not see you live for this world. He does not want us to be deceived by this world. 
Jesus loves you. Jesus. You are too. And he's calling back to you with an open arm. With an open arm. He's saying, Yeshua is saying, come to me. I love you. I love you. Come to me and I will set you free from everything that you're going through. All the chains that are holding you down, I will break those chains and set you free. So come, come to me. So come to the one true Lord. Come to the one true God. The way, the truth, and the life, which is Yeshua, which is our Lord God, Yeshua. Come to Yeshua. He shall set you free. He shall embrace you. He understands your heart. He understands everything you're going through. And He wants to love you. And He wants to give you the peace, the love of God. Love is God. And God is love. So imagine the amount of love that our Lord Yeshua can give you. When this world is denying you. When this world is hating on you. When this world is rejecting you. Oh, think about how how much He will accept you. Yes, think yes. about how much love He will give to you. So do not be so tired. Do not be so lost to come to Christ. In that dark, Yeshua is the light. When you're in that midst of darkness, Yeshua is the light that will guide you. Yeshua is the light that will Bring that, bring that light in you. If you're filled with darkness, Yeshua will be the light in your life. He'll be the light in your path when you're lost. He will guide you. So know that Yeshua is the only way. Yeshua is the only truth. And He's the only life. There's no other one. No other God. No other idols. No other spirits that you believe in other than Yeshua that can set you free. I came from a Hindu background. I came from a Hindu background. But I found Christ. And when I found Christ, I was set free. And I found a life that a life that I could never find in Hinduism. I found a life in Yeshua. I was born into Hinduism. I worship snakes. I worship cows. Family and the people who believe in Hinduism will sprinkle cow, cow pee saying it's holy water. They will give milk to stone instead of feeding the kids who are homeless, who have nothing to eat or drink. They will pour milk on a stone. That's the kind of religion that I came from. Worship snakes. And guess what? Every single time that we didn't do that, give sacrifices, Jesus. people would get sick. People would get sick. What kind of religion is that? But God, God said, even though you are a sinner, you are a sinner, and because you cannot give the one true sacrifice that is required, a spotless sacrifice, a spotless lamb, I will humble myself and come down to this world in flesh and bone and I will bear yours and my sin I will face the holy wrath of God yes. that you are supposed to face on that cross I will die for you so that you don't have to die yes, that is what Yeshua says but any other religion in this world will tell you through your work you are saved you can be saved only by what you do but Yeshua said by me by grace and faith in me and my love for you, you are saved. You are saved through me. But this world will tell you, you can only be saved if you do good. You you are good. But God said, not good. You're a sinner. You're not perfect. But guess what? I love you so much that I will help you to live life. I will die on that cross for you so that you can be saved. So that you can be saved. What other gods of this world tell you that? 
one of the gods of this world tell you that you can be saved because I love you. There is no God that tell you that. There is no other God but Yeshua. Yeshua is the only God who tells you that. Yeshua is the only God who says that. Yeshua is the only God. So do not be deceived by this other religion, your spirituality, your crystals, the idols that you worship. Do not be deceived by all of that. We're not out here condemning you, Chicago. We're not out here condemning you. But because we love you, because Yeshua loves you, we're out here to tell you the truth of love, out of love. Because we love you, we want to tell you the truth. It may be bitter. It may be bitter, but it is the truth. It does not change the truth. And the truth is, if you do not believe in Yeshua, you will condemn yourself to hell. You will condemn yourself to hell. That is the truth. But because He loves you so much, He sent us out here to give you a wake-up call. To tell you to come to Christ. We're not here fear-mongering you. We're not, we're not putting fear into you. But we're trying to tell you the bitter truth. Someone who loves you will tell you the truth no matter how hard it may be to hear. But someone who doesn't love you, doesn't care about you, will keep telling you you're right even though you're wrong. But we're here to tell you out of love, Chicago, you're wrong. Every weekend that you go out and drink, and you don't even have control over what you say, what you do, you're falling into sin. You're wrong. Every time you smoke weed, you're wrong. Every time you pray to any God other than Yeshua, you're wrong. Every time you give more time to this world than God, you're wrong. Every time you say, I don't believe in Yeshua, you're wrong. Yeshua is the only way, the truth and the life. And Yeshua is the only one who can save you and me. So Chicago, wake up. Wake up, Chicago. And hear God. Hear God. God loves you. I love you. My brother and my sister, they love you. That is why we're here. We want you to experience Yeshua alongside with us. We want you to experience eternal life alongside with us. We do not want to see you condemn yourself to hell by living for this world. We do not want to see you being condemned into fiery pit. That is why we're out here. That is out to tell you the good the good news and preach the love and the gospel of Yeshua that is why we're out here not because we hate you not because we're judging you for the life that you're living no I was in sin before I was in sin I was a sin before but I came to Christ and Christ washed me of my sin and he forgave me you do not to shower because you're clean you go to shower because you're dirty just like that even though you're sinners even though I was a sinner come to Christ come to Christ and Christ will wash you and set you free from those sins so do not think I'm too far gone I'm too far gone into this in this pit I'm too far lost in my sins do not think I'm not worthy to come to Christ. So many times, this world has, this world has put so many wrong things in our head that we think, oh, I'm not worthy, so I can't come before God. So, so many times, this world will tell you, oh, you're a sinner, you're not worthy. But God says, I know you're a sinner. I know you're not perfect. But guess what? I still love you. I still love you so much that I died on that cross for you. I love you so much that I bore that sin on that cross for you. I love you so much that I face the holy wrath of God for you. That is what God says. This world will tell you you're not worthy, so you can't come to God. But God says, I love you, and you're always worthy. You're my son. You're my daughter. You're my children. You're my children, and I love you, and I do not want to see you condemned. 
and I do not want to see you condemned. Jesus loves you. So come back. Come back to me. Come back to me. And I will set you free. I will set you free from this world. The things that used to give you pleasure, that kept me, kept you away from me, will no longer enslave you. Yes. This worldly ways that enslaved you. Oh, I will set you free from that. Yes. I will set you free from that and I will give you new life. I will make you a new creation each and every day. I will renew you. Your past will not define you. In me, in Yeshua, you are a new creation each and every day. So do not let the past hold you back. Your past does not define who you are. Your past doesn't define who you are, Chicago. Your past doesn't define who you are. So come before God. Humble yourself. Lay everything on that cross. And watch the way Yeshua will change you. Watch the way. Watch the way Christ will show His love to you. For oh, the love of God is beautiful. So come to Christ, Chicago. Come to Christ. Do not let yourself fall short of the glory of God. Do not let yourself fall short. The God of Abraham. The God of Daniel. The God of David. God of Jacob. He loves you, sir. He is the God who wants to give you life. You should have put maybe maybe ベイヒンディ、ボンアチャタナイヘ。ベイヒンディ、ボンアチャタナイヘ。ベイヒンディ、ボンアチャタナイヘ。ベイヒンディ、ボンアチャタナイヘ。ベイヒンディ、ボン
this is not for us. This is not the earth that he has made for us. But there is a earth. There is a heaven that he made for all of us. And he's waiting for us to come back to our house. To Chicago, sacrifice your things so you can go back to heaven with Father. What can you do for our Father in heaven who has sacrificed so much for you? People in Chicago, you need to repent and come back to Jesus. People in Chicago, you need to take an action. You can't be saying, oh, I'm Christian. Oh, I go to church. Oh, I know who Jesus is, but do nothing about him. You cannot be a lukewarm Christian. You cannot just be a Sunday Christian, but you have to be an everyday Christian. You have to be living for God every day, not just Sunday. You will be saying, oh, I go to church, or oh, I know Jesus, or oh, I read Bible. Yeah, then how that's going to save you? That's not going to save you, Chicago. What's going to save you is you accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What's going to save you is giving your life to Jesus and go and tell the whole nation about who he is. Chicago, I'm telling you, just going to church every Sunday is not going to feed your spiritual life. Just going to church every Sunday is not going to save you if you don't know who God is, if you don't know his words, if you don't know what he has done for you. And going to, and going to clubs and going to soccer games. Well, I love soccer. But going to clubs and going to soccer games and playing video games every day won't save you, Chicago. Just saying, oh, I love God, but doing nothing not gonna save you chicago your words not gonna save you but you gotta show this world that you love jesus through your actions your actions gotta show that you're a child of god your action gotta show that you love jesus and you're ready to do anything chicago you have to give up you have to step up you cannot live in fear forever but you have to step up and preach his love to all of us chicago jesus is calling on you and he you need his salvation. You need to repent and you need to know who is the king of kings, who is the king of kings and doctors of doctors. Chicago, I'm telling you, your faith God is not going to save you just because, oh, I have to do this temple. I have to walk thousands of steps in temple so my God can hear my prayers, cannot save you. My God, I have to go temple and tell my God what's been happening to me. I just have to go to my room and just, just pray to him. And my God will hear what my God will hear about me, and my God will hear me wherever I am and however I'm gonna say it. I don't have to step thousands of steps to go to temple and tell him about him. Cause my God is the God of salvation. My God is the God of love. My God is God of patience. And the things that's happening around this world, I'm telling you, He has been so patient with you all, Chicago. And He's telling you that, my child, I love you so much. And I just want you to come back to him. He has called us here to spread love, to spread his words, and to spread his gospels. He has called us into this earth to tell about his love, to love another, not to just go and tell other people, not to make fun of people, not to kill, not to be racist. The Chicago, it's your time. Just come back to our Father in heaven. Come back to him. Repent you. But repent your stuff. He's not going to judge you. He's not going to tell you, oh, you yucky person. But he's going to be like, my child, thank you for telling me. And just love, no matter what you did, no matter who you are, and you come to him and ask for forgiveness, he's going to forgive you. And you're forgiven. You're forgiven by the kings of kings. You're loved by one heavenly father. You're loved by the higher of higher, king of kings. He loves you so much, Chicago. He loves you so much, my brothers and sisters. And he doesn't care what you did. He doesn't care who you are. You can be rich and poor, and he still loves you the same. You can be high and low, and he's still going to bless you the same. Chicago, he's just calling up in the name. And I'm telling you, my Father in heaven is going to bless you thousands and thousands if you just come and repent in the name of Jesus Christ. Your salvation is in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saved already. God loves you. You know, so many of us, so many of us will say, oh, I have found Christ already. So many of us say, I know Jesus. But Chicago, do we really know Jesus? Are we just saying we know Jesus? Or do we truly know him? Do we, are we truly living the way Jesus wanted us to live? Denying this world, denying our flesh, and living our life for him, for his kingdom. 
So what does that mean? That means not every time it's me studying the Word of God, and going in relationship with Him, and not going out to party and getting drunk until you can't even walk. Putting things into your body that does not glorify Him. Doing things, speaking things that do not glorify Him. That is not the life that Yeshua called us to live. So many times, even in the Bible, in the Bible, these guys came before God and said, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not cast out demons in your name? And Jesus said, depart from me for I do not know you. You can know. You can know the name of Jesus. You can know the name of Yeshua. You can know the name, but you can't know Him. Just because you know the name doesn't mean you know Him. Come to Christ. Read your Bible. Open up your Bible. Open up your Bible and read, read and understand who God is. Understand how He is. What kind of God He is. What kind of characteristics He had. You will fall, you will fall in love with Him. You will fall in love with Yeshua because there is absolutely no one, no one in this world that can be as amazing as our God. As, as Yeshua, Jesus loves you, sir. Jesus loves you guys. So Chicago, come back to your first love. Come back to your first love. Come back to your first love, Lord Yeshua. Come back to our first love, Yeshua. Don't just know his name. Don't just know his name. Don't just know the name of Yeshua. But know him personally. Know him from your heart. Know him from your heart. And let your heart feel his love. Let your heart be filled with his love. So much love that you have no time for this world. So much love you have no time for anything else in this world. So much love of God that you want to do nothing but live for Christ. That is the life that we're called to live. The life for everything we speak, every step that we take, everything that we do does nothing but glorify Him, glorify Yeshua. Because we were made in His image. We were made in His image. So we are to live a life like Christ did. Live a life like Christ did. So living a life that Christ did means you will sin among sinners. You will live among sinners, but you will not sin. So you will live in this world, in this wretched, sinful world, but you will not be living for this world. You will live in it, but not for it. You will live for Yeshua. You will live for Yeshua. So Chicago, 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 do not be of this world. Do not be for this world. Be of Yeshua before Yeshua. This world will pass. This world will pass. But Yeshua will not. Yeshua will not pass. Your flesh will die. But your spirit, your soul, your spirit will not die. So when your flesh dies and goes back to the earth and your spirit is still alive and you have not found Yeshua, guess what? You condemned yourself to hell. You condemned yourself to hell by not believing in Yeshua. Jesus. When you were living in this world, you were so busy going to the club. You were so busy getting drunk. You were so busy being lost in sexual immorality. You were so busy fulfilling your desires for this world, of this world, that you didn't, you didn't acknowledge the one true God who can save you. You are hurt. You are void. You will try fulfilling that by doing things in this world that everyone else does. Everyone else does. 
You are trying to fill in the void that you feel by drugs, by other women or other men. You try to fill that void, but you don't understand and you don't realize that the void that you feel is the void of not having Yeshua in your life. Yes, the name of Jesus. That's the void. That's the void you're feeling and feeling in your life. God bless you, sir. That's the that's the emptiness that you feel in your life. The emptiness of Yeshua. So come to Yeshua. Fulfill yourself with His love, with His presence. Fulfill yourself with His word, with the living word. Word. Fulfill yourself, and you will never, you will never go to those go to drugs. You'll never go to other men or women. You'll never go to weed. You'll never go to temporary pleasures of this world. You'll be satisfied. You'll be satisfied with Yeshua. You'll be satisfied in Yeshua. You'll be satisfied living for Yeshua. Oh, Chicago. Come on. God is calling out for you. God is calling out for you. He loves you so much. He wants to... He doesn't want you to be only a Sunday Christian. He doesn't want you to seek Him only when you're in trouble. He wants to be there for you so you don't have to enter trouble and fall into the deceptions of the devil. And no, I'm not saying that because you found Christ you won't face problems in your life. You will. You will face problems when you believe in Christ because this world is not of God. So this world will hit you when you find Christ. But the truth is, while in this world, while in this world, believe in Christ, suffer, but have eternal life. And while in this world, do not be satisfied living a sinful life and then go to eternal death. You do not want that. You don't want that. You don't want eternal death. Jesus wants to give you eternal life. Yeshua wants to give you eternal life. Wants to help you live a holy life. Jesus loves you. I love you. We love you. So Chicago, do not feel like you're not loved. Do not feel like you're not worthy. Because you are. Jesus loves you. And He just wants to he just wants you to give him a chance. He just wants to give wants you to give him a chance and let him fully work in you. I'm not saying, oh, I'm giving Jesus a chance, so I'm going to church and then I'm just not, not going to fully submit. No, just submit yourself to him once. Give everything to him. And then watch the way that you will never, never want to go away from that ever again. You never want to go away from Lord Yeshua ever again. You will never want to go away. Just give Lord Yeshua one chance. Stop being so satisfied living in a sinful way. Stop being so satisfied for, of, for, of this world. Even you are not of this world. We're really just passing by. It's merely passing by. The end is Yeshua. The end is Yeshua. No other God, no one else but Yeshua. Yeshua is the only way. That's Yeshua. 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 He's the only way, the truth, and the life. He's not just a prophet. He's not just a teacher. He's not just someone who came to this world and claimed to be God. He's not just. He is God. He is the ultimate prophet. He is the Messiah. He is the ultimate teacher. He is the only one. He is the only one, Chicago. Jesus is the one. Chicago, once again, come back to Christ. Come back to Christ. Do not be satisfied for this world. Do not be for this world, but be for the kingdom of God. Be for Yeshua, because you are the Spirit, and Yeshua is jealous over you. 
Jesus is jumping over you. He does not want you to fall into the hands of the devil. He wants you for himself. He wants you for yourself. So come on. Come on, guys. Accept Christ. Accept Christ and save yourself. Do not condemn yourselves to hell. Because that is the truth, guys. God isn't the one who's condemning you. You know that. Hey, hit him with John chapter 3, verses 16, 17, and 18. God so loved the world exactly. that he gave his only begotten. Yes, sir. Whosoever believes in him will not perish, perish but have eternal life. That's right. God yes. Did not sin. Into the world. So, guys, just listen. listen. Jesus loves you. That is why he came for this world. Like this, they're saying out John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. He wants to give you eternal life. What do you have to do to have eternal life? No, you don't have to be the perfect human being. You don't have to be the perfect, perfect person. No. You don't. You just have to believe in Yeshua. Every other religion will tell you, Oh, fast from sunrise, sunrise to sunset. Oh, go to the temple and sacrifice, sacrifice this many, this many animals. Go sacrifice milk on this stone. Be good, do good. Because it is by your works you are saved. That is what other religions will tell you. But Jesus says, believe in me with all your heart. Believe in me with all your heart. And I will save you. And Jesus loves you, sir. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Jesus loves you. Because he loves you, he died on that cross for you. He loves you. This world tells you that he doesn't love you. This world will tell you that because you're not perfect, you're not loved. But Jesus says, I don't hate you, but I hate the sin. I hate the sin. But so you come to me, I will set you free from your ways. I will set you free from your sins and the deceptions that you're in. That's what he says. Jesus loves you. So just come to Yeshua. Do not let this world tell you otherwise. Do not let this world tell you the life to live, that you have to live. Do not let this world tell you what kind of person you are. Read the Bible. If you don't read the Bible and let the Bible tell you who you are, then the world will tell you who you are. If you don't let, read the Bible and let Yeshua tell you who you are, then the world will tell you who you are. If you don't open up the Bible, the world will tell you you're a sinner and you're not worthy and you're not loved. But the Bible says, you are loved. You are loved. Yes, you are a sinner, but you are loved. You are a sinner. When you come to me, I will set you free. The world will tell you, you can never go to Christ the way you are. But Jesus says, come to me the way you are, and I will make new creation. This world will tell you that you are not the son or daughter of Christ but the Bible says you are the son who are the daughter of the Most High of Yeshua that you are that's why you need to open up your Bible and read your Bible because if because if you don't read the Bible and the Bible tells you who you are then this world will tell you who you are and who the world says you are is not who you are. Who the Bible says you are is who you are. You are conqueror. So see, this world, this world will never, never truly let you know your identity. Because if you know your true, true identity, God will use you in a mighty way. God will set you free. God will make you a new creation. That is why this world doesn't want you to truly know who you are. But come to God, to Christ. Come to Yeshua, and you will know who you are. 
Make, look for yourself, Chicago. Look for yourself. Men are becoming women. Women are becoming men. One day, and there are some who are, one day they are men, one day they're women, one day they're, they don't have a gender, one day they're an animal. You see this? This is a deception of this world. See, this world starts telling you who you are because you open up the Bible and let the Bible tell you who you are. And you don't let the Bible tell you who you are. See, this world tells you who you are because you are too busy living for this world. I'm here, not judging you, but still rebuking you in love. In love. Because the truth is bitter. The truth will hurt. But the truth will also set you free. The truth will also set you free. So that's why it's important to come to Christ and let Christ tell us who we are. Not this world. Not this world. Stop being too busy for Christ. Stop being too busy for Yeshua. Stop being too busy for Him. And stop letting the world tell you who you are. Your 9 to 5 job is not who you are. Your wealth, your money, your house, your nice cars is not who you are. Guess what? After you die, your house, it will just be sold off to someone else. Your car will just be sold off to someone else. All the money that you earned in this world, that you are too busy wasting your life earning, that money you won't take with you. You won't take that money with you to heaven. You won't. All you will take with yourself is your spirit. And there's only two places. Only two places you can take it. Either heaven or hell. You can either, your soul, your spirit will go either to heaven, go to hell. And where it goes is in the choice that you make. Is in the choice that you make. So make the choice. Make the choice to live for Yeshua. Make the choice to not be too busy for this world. Do not be too busy for this world. Because God loves you so much. God loves you so much. God loves you way to, to see you condemn yourself to hell, guys. He just loves you way too much. So you see Chicago. So you see Chicago. This world, this world has, has deceived, deceived you in way too, ma too many ways. Has deceived you in too many ways. This world has deceived you in too many ways, telling you, telling you who you are, giving you wrong identity, giving you false hope, giving you false hope and wrong identity has deceived you way too much. So that is why you come to the light. You need to come to the truth. And the truth is Yeshua. Yeshua is the truth. Yeshu is the truth. These days, so many of us, so many people, you you wear crystals around your neck for peace because you're going through too much anxiety. But then when you take away that same crystal, you, you start feeling so much anxiety. Why? Because the world is deceiving you. The world is deceiving you. To Yeshua. Come to Yeshua. The Prince of the Prince of Peace. And the peace that He gives you will compare to nothing. It will compare to nothing. The peace He gives you. And when you experience the peace and the love that Yeshua has for you guys. When you experience the peace that He has for you guys, you will never be the same. God will transform you. All your burdens. So much, so many of you feel like you're not loved. 
So many of you are going through your own troubles and your own problems. But guess what? Yeshua says, I'm bigger than your problems. I'm bigger than your problems. I'm bigger than the things that you're going through. I'm bigger than all the rejections that you're going through. And I love you so much. I love you so much. Just come to me. Jesus loves you so much. So Chicago, wake up. You gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. The more you in this world, the more you start opening up your eyes, you will see how openly, how openly Christ is mocked. No other God but Christ is mocked. Why? The prophecies must be fulfilled. Prophecies must be fulfilled. And those prophecies are being fulfilled. You can see it. You know it. But you just don't want to believe it. You know those prophecies are being fulfilled. So what does the prophecies being fulfilled have to do with anything? It has to do with the truth. It has to do with the truth. And the truth is that Yeshua is the only way. Yeshua is the only truth. And He is the only life. Yeshua, the name of Yeshua, Christianity gets mocked a lot, gets hated on a lot, more than anything else, because that is the truth. The devil does not go after what harm him, he goes after that which harms him. The devil goes after things that comes in between the agendas. And Christianity comes in between that agenda. Yeshu, the truth, comes with the agenda of the devil. Yeshua, 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 Yeshu is the only way. Muhammad isn't the way. Muhammad isn't the way. Yeshua isn't just a prophet. He's the Messiah. He's the Messiah. He's God. He is God. Don't let, don't let the false doctrine tell you any otherwise. Don't let the false doctrine tell you otherwise. Muhammad cannot save you, but yes you can. But yes you can. The Quran does, does not give you peace. Does not tell you about the love of God. But Yeshua does. Yeshua gives you peace. But the Quran will tell you. Quran will tell you, only by your works you are saved. But Yeshua tells you, by me you are saved. Me you are saved. Hinduism tells you, only by your work. Only by your work. And the things that you do while you are living. And the seven lives you live. Will determine whether you reach peace or not. In Nirvana. Whether you reach or not. It's by your work. But Jesus says, it's by me, by my grace, by God's grace, that you are saved, that you are given salvation by Jesus, by Jesus, by Yeshua. So Chicago, you know the truth. You know the truth. Now accept the truth. Now accept the truth. And the truth is, truth is that Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Only way. God bless you. Jesus is the only way. He is the light. The one light that can shine in your darkness. He's the light that can brighten you and make your path straight. Jesus loves you. So do not just do, do not just know the name of Yeshua. Do not just know the name of Yeshua. Know him. Know him. Know who he is. Know who he is. So God loves you. God loves you so so much. Know his love. Experience his love.
Chicago. All the, all the brokenness that you're feeling, all the burdens that you feel, everything that you're going through, God wants to set you free from that. Yeshu wants to set you free from that. So God loves you so much. God loves you so much, so, 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 so much that even when you think you're not worthy, even when you're too busy making it all about me, 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 Yeshua wants to tell you and Yeshua is here to tell you that He wants to set you free from the ways of this world. That He wants to save you. Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. You work so hard. You work so hard to make a living. You work so hard to earn those money. You work so hard to buy yourself nice cars. You work so hard to buy yourself nice houses. You spend most of your time working. You don't even have to have enough time for your family. But at the end, Chicago, at the end, are you truly satisfied with all that? Are you truly satisfied with the life that you live? Are you truly, 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 truly happy with the life that you have? Deep down, deep inside, you know that you're not. Because you don't have Yeshua. You're missing Yeshua. Because you're missing Yeshua in your life. Because Yeshua is that one. Yeshua is that one missing piece of that puzzle. Yeshua is that one missing piece in that puzzle that you feel in your life. Because we are never whole. We're never complete without God. We're never complete without God. Why? Why are we never complete without God? Because we're children of God. Because we're children of God. And because we're children of God, this world never truly satisfies us. No matter, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much nice clothes, how many friends you have, no matter how popular you are, no matter how popular you are, God bless you, sir. No matter how popular you are, it never brings you true peace. Why do you think all these celebrities who are so popular, who have so many followers, they never have true peace in them? Who turned the speaker? Why do you think you never have true, true? Why do you think they never have true peace? Even though they have millions, millions of fans, millions of followers. Why? Why do they never have true peace, have a happy life? 